session is not that uh, dull it is uh, uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, operational and maintenance aspects of uh, solar pv system all along the day we were talking about price price and price only let's have a uh, different uh, uh, thought process we have some good thought leaders with us in this dais uh, to share uh, their experiences on the post uh, installation services of uh, solar pv plant i'll begin with the uh, with uh, mr manoj uh, one of the senior most members of uh, this uh, uh, industry uh, we have a uh, as uh, i heard in the previous session there are about 1000 1000 uh, players for uh, carrying out installation and the, or the epc part of it but i i think uh, names like very few or in them companies are available what will happen to all these systems uh, once they cross the five year mark or whatever uh, that is under subsidy if it is under a non subsidy scheme whatever uh, guarantee period they are off they have offered what will happen to these systems uh, it is a big question uh, in this context kerala has introduced a very unique model to the country we have uh, we have uh, here something called the urja mitra Uh, it was a brainchild of dr hari kumar who was here with us a short while ago and uh, it was uh, installed in all the legislative assembly sections of our state and each urja mitras were expected to carry out the after sale service in the even the equipment supplier or the uh, developer fails to attend to that but this also uh, has created another pool of uh, uh, entrepreneurs who uh, started entering into the epc market so even today the ontem market gets uh, neglected now adding to that the manufacturers their uh, their business approach to the service also is uh, not encouraging Uh, i i have not seen a full fledged service center of any of the inverter manufacturer in this state maybe if some service call is made it will go to a uh, toll free number and somebody from hyderabad or calcutta will be attending to that uh, how can the beneficiary or the developer tell these problems to someone sitting miles away and what kind of uh, uh, service support can be expected so these are the challenges faces uh, by our uh, developers because once they are they are the uh, foot soldiers of all these manufacturers and they fee- they are facing the customers so uh, i would like to know from manoj how do you uh, address this challenge in your organization Uh, good evening all uh, thanks to eq for uh, creating uh, such a beautiful platform uh, here in kerala um, coming straight to the point regarding the oendam uh, uh, it's a big challenge uh, which we as an epc player facing uh, in the industry uh, i would say from my experience since i was working with uh, uh, um, many of the subsidy programs and non subsidy programs beginning with anards 10000 rooftop program we started our majority of the business we started with our off grid uh, installations but we were facing in the off grid industry the off grid industry was just evolving at that time uh, right from the normal inverter uh, to the solar inverter there are a lot of shifts in the technology or shift in the uh, i mean um, there are lot of parameters have shifted from a base level to the next level we were not at all getting uh, a proper support from the manufacturers now if i talk about the 10000 rooftop program anards 10000 rooftop program those were installed solar plants in kerala majority of the players are now i mean the epc players are not seen in the market right now all these customers are not getting uh, proper service uh, uh, and even the manufacturers it's, it's, if, if if i talk about the epc player being an epc player the epc player have to get the support from the oems many of the oems are not there in the market right now so all these customers are not getting proper service customers are definitely uh, uh, facing these issues 
which i as an entrepreneur i as a player we i wanted to continue there in the industry we are trying many steps buying back the inverters uh, or uh, getting the other services and all these things are we are doing uh, apart from as an industry perspective or or an individual industry uh, entrepreneur my dream we are talking about the dreams many a times my dream was there to get the service throughout the uh, kerala there are a lot of qualified technicians or technical people are there but we are not able to aggregate their capability to give service or support to the industry i was requesting to many of the associations or to the people creating a common platform as shivram ji rightly pointed out the uh, urja mitra case urja mitra was meant to do the service but uh, unfortunately it was not went up to the level uh, we as we we have to create a platform for not only giving the regular uh, comprehensive maintenance but also to the service support for right now if we talk about the total installations happened in kerala more than 25000 or 30000 residential rooftop have been solarized i don't think so all the companies or uh, within the limited man, i mean manpower or the costliest manpower people are able to give a proper service support my request to the industry colleagues is having joining together to create a platform for giving a service apart barring the competition or keeping our competition amongst us keeping aside and we need to do some platform or an application based platform can be a better option to give service and uh, within stipulated time we, we can give an uh, initial sub, uh, service to the customer and joining all the epcs together to request the manufacturers also to uh create uh, sufficient support in the industry right now which is lacking as uh, shriram sir pointed out that no manufacturers right now the grid, uh, grid connected inverters nobody is having the uh, service support or service uh, set, setup here uh, in kerala because of that the customer, consumers are definitely we uh, suffering a lot we as an epc sir suffering uh, to a greater extent somehow we are trying to manage but there are definitely the complaints are there so we i request the industrial people to join together to create some kind of platforms to do uh, uh, I mean support the customers so that the uh, real sustainability of the industry will happen thank you it's noted the well taken because this is a genuine grievance of the uh, uh, solar uh, developers in our state i repeat there is no single uh, there are a few uh, inverter manufacturers sitting uh, behind uh, sitting uh, on the rear side of this hall uh, please take a note there is absolutely no service backup from your side from you are selling uh, inverters like hot cakes in our state but where are your service people where are your foot soldiers when we call we get some uh, uh, reply from uh, andhra pradesh or gujarat where are your malayali service engineers i move on uh, anyway i am also party to that so i have to air my grievance another issue uh, which chases uh, the developers are the uh, unreasonable level of guarantees to be offered as part of our uh, contractual obligation many of the solar pv systems are required to be offered 5 years warranty in our country which system even a bmw car 10 times or 20 times costlier than the solar system you are offering doesn't have a one minute guarantee but here you are asked to offer five year warranty or whatever you have to dance to all the music so don't you think that it is time our technology is uh, uh, is now matured we are uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, robust and established and proven technology for all the products so why is it that uh, a five year uh, guarantee required uh, suggestion sir uh, uh, you also would be a person affected with long guarantee periods sir. sometimes even extended guarantee periods so what do you think uh, the how how to uh, overcome this situation yeah hey bab good evening hello from myself sadish from nespo sara epc contractor uh, thanks eq giving me a opportunity to speak here all of the speakers discussed about the future of renewable energy and well uh, forthcoming technology i uh, i want to request all of you the solar entrepreneurs want to give more effort to make the carbon neutral instead of making more profit as per sugu sir vision 
we can grow with the renewable energy and live with the green concept in my knowledge i see nowadays so many new entrepreneurs are coming in this se- sector it is very good uh, challenging timing but uh, the newcomers are not aware of the costing of the solar project actually and they are some one of the customer dealing with one of the epc contractor he giving one quotation and same day maybe the customer will easily get another 10 or more quotations and they are giving the bad pricing or lower pricing and they don't know about that the warranty who is claim who is giving the warranty actually they are giving the in uh, what that the writing 5 uh, year or 8 year or 10 year for the warranty for that uh, inverters as well giving their warranty with the stamp paper written with the 25 years for sell efficiency so after that 2 years or 3 years they are seeing that uh, they are getting a nominal margin and after that they are scared about giving that uh, oem that uh, service segment so i request all of the this 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 is a very, very big threat for the industry so the we want to educate the all the entrepreneurs with a pricing concept nowadays that the saura first phase they are giving a, a basic pricing as well as uh, for that uh, dbt program also we giving basic price it is very good for all the entrepreneurs and i looking very good forward for the uh, solar industry thank you what, what do you think about uh, guarantee that was my guarantee th- there is the problem guarantee they are giving the with the re- return and uh, nowadays the manufacturer if we are one of the faulty inverter is there they are giving that the surge is gone and with the lightning and they are not giving the warranty and nowadays the, so many we are also that uh, uh, traders also so we we know the situation now is going on what is uh, wrongly they are giving the uh, warranty and all these things but the manufacturer doesn't want to give the warranty and as well as in the panel segment also they are no, maybe it will take 6 months 7 months uh, everywhere it, it is uh, like that so we have to put together with a effort for that uh, giving uh, that manufacturers all the warranty terms and i guess even uh, as suggestions sir even i think uh, we need to uh, act as a pressure group with the authorities also to bring this uh, unwarranted uh, loan guarantee terms uh, to be removed from their tender documents it can be cut short even a power transformer doesn't require uh, doesn't not ask for five year warranty in case of tenders uh, only solar as if you don't trust the product moving on i think uh, one of the objective of a good operation and maintenance uh, uh, mechanism is to is to get the asset life increased uh, that is one key objective and also to maintain the its key performance indicators so these are the two uh, primary objectives but unfortunately the low pricing quote regime of the uh, tendering uh, process uh, overlooks the costs involved in these two aspects these two definitely carry uh, operation cost and maintenance cost uh, and therefore uh, in- improper mechanism is extended to the beneficiary so low price uh, bids are one of the reasons for such poor uh, oem and activities so my 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 point to uh, uh, nishan uh, nishan uh, where do we uh, what do we think uh, is correct mechanism uh, the prices are loaded at the front end uh, and the oem them or installation to a larger extent is getting suffered in the uh, project execution so you take on that 
Thank you, Shirovan Sun, Mr. Palinshan Shahul from Almiya Fitness Private Limited. Uh, currently, uh, thank you, Iki, for this opportunity. So, uh, regarding the uh, uh, pricing of solar power projects, nowadays, uh, people are not thinking about uh, what will be the maintenance cost and what, what will be the expense for maintenance. So, uh, while uh, bidding for a bigger project like in Shipyard or Naval Base or some, some uh, given projects also, we have a sunless bidding process. So, somebody from Gujarat, somebody from Delhi, somebody from somewhere else will quote accordingly. Like in Kerala, you know, uh, working about two meter height will be charged double as per union rates. So, these kind of aspects will not be considered from a company. Uh, they are not doing even site survey physically. They will be doing site survey by um, even Google Map. So, in that kind of aspect, uh, somebody is quoting around 40 rupees per kilowatt. It will not work in Kerala, Kerala market especially. And uh, what, what in my experience, I have seen that so many people uh, get, get such a work works and they do the works and uh, finally they are will be not be able to do the work completely and they will drop the project and somebody else from Kerala will do the remaining works. So uh, we have we basically have a bigger challenge uh, in module also. We don't have a module manufacturer in Kerala. So whatever module we bring from outside Kerala, it will cost additional 50 paise. So this much cost. It, it will be no. It will be not in Gujarat market because they are have in Rajkot also in Gujarat or in Hyderabad they are having ample number of model manufacturer. So this expense nobody is taking care. So this, in Kerala while we are doing Savita project or some DBT project or any other subsidy project or regular projects, this additional 50 percent expense will be incurred. And again on uh, solar model maintenance aspect. So uh, at least we have to uh, do maintenance activity like cleaning solar model for every two months at least to make a system uh, error free but uh, nobody is uh, as far as uh, as far as uh, i am looking into the industry but nobody is caring about this uh, after maintenance service so as a company almi is giving too much uh, free maintenance for our customers so i i also request all of my colleagues to do such a initiative then our customers and your customers will be happy with the system and they will refer more projects to our our industry and that will keep that will keep a momentum for our industry and it will long last. Like I have seen some company uh, in early last year, they are giving uh, solar power price for 40 rupees per watt peak and they are even posting in Facebook like this, uh, this is our rate. And they are putting each and every module, each and every inverter on the list. So uh, whenever some customer is asking something, they are telling that this price is valuable, like 2 lakhs for 5 kilowatt projects. And now that company is no more. Everybody knows uh, what I am talking about. These kind of things should be eliminated. Like we have a very good, uh, we have very predominant association, Kriva and Core Association in Kerala, and we are we have, we we started uh, getting the price like minimum profit margin price for every project, and we should all follow a systematic pricing that a minimum price minimum profit margin should be there for all projects, including the OEM cost, and we have to work accordingly. So the so our customers will get more trust on us. And more projects will be coming on like that. And again, the operations maintenance expense. <coughs> some companies, even one one RP companies, are there. We uh, in previous section somebody told like some around thousand companies are there in Kerala, but actually uh, forty to thirty percent of the companies are one one RP company. So they will hire people for doing installation. They will take the orders online. They will uh, do site survey, and they will execute the project. And what about this OI and them? These aspects they are not taking care, and this this. These kind of phenomena should be eliminated. So these are these are my points, Shiranji. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Good vision. Uh, so my the friends on my right side, all of all of them are developers, and they all agree. Uh, primarily three points. One is, uh, uh, you know, we should also stand united uh, to thwart these uh, uh, these authorities' uh, terms like uh, warranty or uh, uh, you know uh, enforcing. Uh, service center authorized service center mandatorily uh, in, in the areas you operate so these are uh, from the developer side i know i think on the left side that they have uh, two manufacturers so uh, let me uh, begin asking uh, ram uh, Sri rajkiran sorry i'm sorry rajkiran that uh, india now i think india is looking forward more into the rooftop uh, uh, program uh, there are a lot of schemes announced one of them is uh, the uh, uh, the rooftop second, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? No, no. You are into battery management. Fine. Fine. Uh, the uh, 
scheme, uh, the direct benefit transfer scheme, DBT scheme, which, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, national portal scheme. So there, uh, at this point of time, uh, there are no uh, special uh, quality checks or quality, mandatory quality controls uh, on either the manufacturer or the uh, installer. So, uh, the installations are really uh, not undergoing any uh, QC at this point of time. So, therefore, the MNRE has drafted a document, a draft control, a quality control document, uh, which envisages a three-tier management of uh, quality control for these uh, rooftop solar systems. One is from the manufacturer side. The manufacturers who are desirous of uh, supplying their products under this scheme has to get registered with MNRE, undergo their, uh, their rigorous uh, compliance requirements, follow the standards, etc. And I think uh, your battery also will come in that picture. Uh, the manufacturers have to get impaneled. So the first tier of uh, quality will be done in the manufacturer level in your works by, uh, by MNRE. Uh, if you have gone through that document, uh, the details are more available in that. Uh, will that uh, help? My point, uh, my question to you is, how is it going to help uh, in quality maintaining? There are other two tires. One is in the manufacturer level, other in the installer level, then finally in the MNRE level. 